Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see the former MVP, Cam Newton, and the Carolina Panthers as they square off against second-year man Sam Darnold and the new-look New York Jets. With that, we head up to MetLife Stadium as we'll hand it over to the two men that'll call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're ready to go, and it should be a good one as those New York Jets get set to face off with the Carolina Panthers. With you from the booth, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. A CDR matchup here. A couple of teams last year that were really pretty similar, both under 500, both missed the playoffs, and they both think that they can turn things around in 2019. Yeah, how about 2018, though? A case of the haves and the have-nots. In 16 game seasons in the NFL, for the first time last year, no one finished 8-8. Eight and eight. Now, you know that in baseball, basketball, other sports, turnarounds can take three, four, five years. In football, could just be a few months. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And in front of a raucous crowd, this one is underway. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Jets work their way onto the field, led by the number three overall pick in 2018. Sam Darnold and during the offseason Darnold was asked where he was looking to improve he told everybody being more comfortable in the pocket you look back to the numbers from his rookie campaign 17 touchdowns and 13 starts so just imagine what a relaxed and more experienced Darnold might be able to accomplish with a stronger set of receivers now here in 2019 now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage that's where Crowder makes his hay in the slot. Jets hoping to see more of that going forward. He signed with him in March after the last four seasons being in Washington. Had three pretty good years and sort of tailed off last season due in large part to an ankle injury. They'll run here with a former Steeler. This is Le'Veon Bell. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of six and it'll set him back for second down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. On second down, it's Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Whenever we call a game that's in the snow, we have to focus a little bit more, trying to make sure we've got the right numbers on players yeah. that we're calling right, the right guys in the game. Think about the guys on the field. Their focus has to really increase as well because so many things coming at you, you got to make sure that you're really locked in on taking care of the ball. Or if you don't, you cough it up like they did right there. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They're running it. Following the fumble recovery, Newton. And all oh, this is taken in one hand and what a catch. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. How did he do that? I've got, how did he do it? I mean, in this type of weather, it's not just catching it, it's seeing it coming towards it. Maybe that's why he ended up having to go up one-handed, but boy, what a catch. That yeah, was a spectacular one-handed grab. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. A first carry for Christian McCaffrey, who made his first Pro Bowl last year. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. 
A shotgun snap for Newton. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. And New York set to take the field. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. He was the leading receiver for the Jets a season ago. Robbie Anderson, 50 catches, over 750 yards, and getting more and more comfortable with Sam Darnold. Now a year plus under their belts collectively. You'd figure that those numbers for Anderson might be trending further north. Now a pass taken in by the tight end Herndon, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now a first down carry by Bell. Tackle made by K1 Short. Offensive starters time. Electric is certainly a word that comes to mind when you talk about Le'Veon Bell. Love the way that he reshaped his body coming out of college. A bigger, thicker runner while he was at Michigan State. Lost weight, became more of a whippet in the NFL. And now no one can tackle the guy, whether he's running it or catching it. Mike Tice, Mike Mike Right here, right here. From the 39, Darnold. His throw incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon, but now it's third down. And the starting defense here for the Panthers. Eric Reed is a safety that you can use all over on defense, both in the box as a tackler and back deep as a cover man. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. A shotgun snap for Donald. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 28. down it's Darnold Herndon's got it complete and they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line 10 yards on the pick up there and it'll be second down how about the timing on that one where they were in sync weren't they three-step drop balls out of his hands right to the tight end nice completion just like they do it in practice a good down to possibly take a shot and in fact they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches here's Darnold this one caught by Crowder. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Darnold going to lead the offense up first and ten. And he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Again, Darnold. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Uh, you got a young quarterback. You know, Maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. He's got Herndon, his tight end. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Darnold. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They come out here in the eye. Watch a slant, watch a slant, watch a slant. Now a play fake here on first down. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. They can't stop Bruce Irvin there as he slips in for the sack. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Now Darnold. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. From 10 yards out, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Now the extra point try forthcoming. Or these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Sam Ficken now for the Jet field goal. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Here go, here go. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. I can't believe they even let you play. From 
the gun. Here's Newton. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Jets will take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Bell, and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, and you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down, it's Bell. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. On fourth down, here's Lachlan Edwards to punt it. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Fighting room at the 30. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. This is something that we expected to see. McCaffrey used out of the backfield. 107 catches in 2018, the most in one season by an NFL running back. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. McCaffrey on the counter. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. A gain of three, second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Check, check, walk 54, walk 54. From the 38, 
Newton. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. D.J. Moore went through some ups and downs his rookie season, but really came on strong late in the year. Finished with 55 catches, the most among Panthers not named Christian McCaffrey. And now with Devin Funches gone to Indianapolis, he's going to be the true WR1 for the Panthers. Here's Newton. Wright's got it. And he's got this down to the 35. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. First down, Panthers. We got set. We got set, buddy. We got it. We got it. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. Henry Anderson there on the stop. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. At the 31 yard line. That's it. That's it, buddy. We're pretty quiet, Gene. We're pretty quiet. Check, 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 check. On second down, McCaffrey. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 46. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you gotta find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Knocking through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This will be fielded at the eight. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Felt, of course, three-time 1,000-yard rusher. Sat out 2018, but you look back to 2017, a tick under 1,300 yards and almost 700 more receiving. Check, check, walk 54, walk 54. Pick me up, here we go. On second down now, it's Bell. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. 
I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. down. Bell. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there and it's second down. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. On second down, it's Bell. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. The Jets on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and 11. Darnold now to throw, and he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 43. Nice catch right there, brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And he's dropped right at the 40, gain of three. The completion good for three and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Back to throw, Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Jets on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Now it's Darnold. And he finds his man, Griffin. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Darnold going to lead the offense up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Throwing again is Darnold. Hooking up over the middle with Herndon. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We got it. We got it. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball. And we just saw there that that's difficult to do but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, 
hold on to the ball. Carolina getting set to take the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. Newton to throw. And that's complete to McCaffrey. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Complete to right. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Out of the gun, Newton. Got his target, Samuel. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now Newton on first down. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. A nice pickup on first down, seven yards. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. The Panthers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. A shotgun snap for Newton. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Steve McClendon, credit him for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. On now, Graham Gano. He's hit from 63 as recently as last year. This to equal Matt Prater's record. It's a 64-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's a second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, fourth and four, situations that used to be calls for the kicker might get a second thought. So the missed 56 yarder and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. To throw is Darnold. That one complete to Anderson. 
Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Bell. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. The Jets on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. Here's Darnold. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Now Edwards to kick as he sends it away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. And now we spotlight the Jets' defense. And we're going to get a peek at some of the hits that have helped them get this first half lead. And you know how the best hits happen? By being really good on that side of the ball in terms of fundamentals, being in the right spot, diagnosing plays well, and being there at the point of attack. They are really making it happen. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. They'll come on second and six now from the 24. Draw play as Newton gives to McCaffrey. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Ready. So they'll come Ready. up first and 10 now from the 33. Tight down, tight down. There you go. They'll try the air now with Newton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, Newton. Now this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. 
Yeah, Greg Olson's back for his 13th NFL season. The last nine have been in a Panthers uniform. Only nine games for him a year ago, seven the season before due to injuries, but when healthy, a thousand yard receiver in 2014, 15, and 16. They'll run with McCaffrey. They find some open field here. Touchdown, Carolina! Christian McCaffrey, 37 yards, and the Panthers have taken the lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So this drive spans seven plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. touchdown here to kick it away that'll be taken in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line and Le'Veon Bell making his way back out onto the field now he's had a good chunk of carries problem is for very little success I don't want to put it all on his shoulders but that's a big reason they're losing right now have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. We'll see if he can look and do some soul searching now. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Darnold, and Anderson's got it. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Jets on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and four. Here's Darnold. A screen to Bell. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Now the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he's on to punt for New York. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and ten. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have, and think back to our meeting with the head coach, and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. 
Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Newton now to throw. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Now Newton. And that's going to be incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Panthers on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the save. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Here's Michael Pilardi now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. And we put our focus now on Le'Veon Bell. Now, I'm not going to say you completely abandoned the passing game, but it would really behoove them to get this running game going more. That's the identity most teams are seeking, able to establish themselves, control the game by running it, have to touch it multiple times in order to have success in this game. Yeah, and as we say, yeah, that's right. As we say all the time, that sets up the passing game. I feel like a broken record with that. Listen, we can be broken Let's records go. all Let's we go. want. Bottom line is, lather up that big horse <laughs> and let him run. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. First down Keep now, going. but that clock rolling. We got to get this stuff. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check that. On first down, Darnold. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Gerald McCoy credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. 
Right there. 54. Right there. Right there. Darnold now to throw. This one caught by Crowder. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Third down, here's Bell. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Taken in at the 22. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Christian McCaffrey and the Panthers about set to go on offense. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a while. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. This Jets offense heading back out there now, led by Sam Darnold. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Darnold. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. That brings up third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. You got it. You got it. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down six. At the 
So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult, and it's not likely to get better anytime soon as we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops right, it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. <laughs> Now a run with McCaffrey. Some nifty running, but it only gets him to the 45. Jordan Jenkins there on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Newton, he finds his man, the tight end Olsen. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there, second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Panthers have the first, it's a gain of 12. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Panther first down. 
This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Now a first down throw for Newton. That's to McCaffrey complete. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. This is McCaffrey. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Operating from the gun, Newton. Completes it to Samuel. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Sacked there by Avery Williamson, the linebacker. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. First down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Back to throw. Newton over the middle, and it's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target, but now it's third and goal. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow... Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Gano's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. 
These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. A really good pickup of 28 yards. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather plays to their advantage because you know where you're going on offense. Defenders have to react, and they often slip. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. That's complete, it's Bell. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Back to throw, Darnold. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's taken down inside the 30. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 28. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They'll run on first down. Bell, and he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. He's brought down by Shaq Thompson. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 23-yard line. My 54. My 54. Hey, get the head. Get the head. They'll go again with Bell. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Watch, watch the run, watch the run. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points, incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. So on fourth down, the Jets turn to kicker Sam Ficken. And this a 39-yard attempt. Ficken's kick is good. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So that's a seven play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. 
You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a give right side McCaffrey. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. A good pickup. They get eight, but it's third down now. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And he's got his target. That's more. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 40. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. McCaffrey. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second down and four, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Christian McCaffrey, last year's catch leader among running backs, the intended receiver. And it's third and four. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one good for 24 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. draw play to McCaffrey and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line it'll be a loss of a yard and it'll be second and 11. you know it's become cliche but we have seen it and observed it when runners out days like what we're seeing right now they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards don't they they don't go buy them dinner but after a play like that he might reduce it. Might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. That? Eight ounces. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. 
A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Gano now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Jets offense now works their way back onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. And they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Throw complete to Herndon. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. And by the end of last year, Herndon had solidified himself as the primary tight end for New York. Now, overall, second leading receiver in 2018 on the team behind Robbie Anderson. In fact, his 39 catches, most among rookie tight ends in the league a season ago. Darnold now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. The shotgun snap for Darnold. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Now it's Darnold. That'll be taken in by Anderson. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To the air again, Darnold. And he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. 
So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Out of the pistol, it's Bell. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looks like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Silver, silver. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. for the third quarter of action. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And yeah, they'll try the air now with Darnold. And caught by Thomas. Touchdown, Jets. Four yards on the touchdown grab as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. Is under review. what the technology is for and this touchdown will count extra point through the snowflakes up and good and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter so that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive and it ends with a jet touchdown Here's Sam Ficken now for the Jet field goal. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He finds an opening past the 40, and they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. 
He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On the ground, McCaffrey. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. You, 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 you. Here's McCaffrey. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it a costly turnover. The New York set to take the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Let's go. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards is the pickup there and a jet first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. To back good plays have them on the move on first down Darnold from the gun caught here by Bell call it a gain of three and that'll make it second down First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. It's a game of two. Brings up third and five. Mike's my set. Mike's by four. Mike's by four. Three buzz, three buzz. Here's Darnold. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Okay, it's time for me to break out my thesaurus for that one. And I don't have 
have anything. <laughs> that was amazing. One-handed in this weather. I mean, you know the ball's got to be slick, but to be able to catch it and come down with it, what do they call that, the process of the catch? He completed it all the way through. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. He hit his first, this one from 38. Ficken's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? When they only gave up the field goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Complete to right. Two yards, good enough for a first. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Now a toss. This is McCaffrey. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now it's Newton. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination, look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. First down, Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Newton will bring him up first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. 
And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He was brought down by Daryl Roberts. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Throwing on second and eight, Newton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Watch the run, watch the run. Throwing on third down, Newton. This is caught. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Newton now to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. In the backfield, standing alone here on second and goal is Davis. To the air again, Newton. And that's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They come out here in the eye. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating, will we have to make the call? They already had it lined up, never even got to it. Gano for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. touchdown here to kick it away this will be fielded at the eight then he'll take this across the 25 a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field and last time able to get three it's not what they wanted they wanted six but they got at least something they mustered something out of the drive They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. 
Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Again, it's Bell. And he loses the football a second time. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And oh, my goodness, he loses it again. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. I don't care what the scoreboard says, partner. You know who's winning this game right now? Mother Nature? Yes, indeed. Precipitation's winning in a big way. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers right now. Yeah, well, this was the forecast. We got what was forecasted, and we've gotten a lot of turnovers. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? Are the legs still there? This has been a tough game. You don't see me. You don't On second down, McCaffrey. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Le'Veon Bell and the Jets ready to begin their next drive. After some early struggles running the ball, they've really picked it up. Early it just seemed like there were no holes there. Now all of a sudden, the holes seem to be there. I don't know if that's just my imagination. And give them credit that they kept their confidence because sometimes when you get stuffed big in the running game early, especially for an entire half, it really makes you retreat a little bit, but not this group. They always have the confidence. If they just get their assignments down, they get in sync with their runners, and off they went. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. To throw again on second down. Darnold looking middle 
and it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it's third down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. <laughs> Luckily fell incomplete. Darnold, he finds his target. It's Crowder. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery, yeah, slippery. and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was it three drives? Yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration, you'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 22. Following the fumble recovery, Newton to the right side, and he's got more complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Cam fakes the give and keeps it. They go quickly here out to Moore. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the run there. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. 
Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Darnold and the Jets now. Down 27-20, a minute four on the clock. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and ten. Back to throw. He gets it to Thomas. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. Right there, 54. Right there. 54. They'll look to throw. And he's got a man, Demarius Thomas. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you've got to get up there and spike it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. He was looking to hit his running back, Le'Veon Bell, that time. And that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Darnold. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. One last throw now for Darnold. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.